Hello friends, now that we have got the basic concept of eTabs, from now onwards we will get into the core of this course. In this section we will learn how to model a residential building. So for this purpose I have used a real architectural drawing. So let us go to the architectural drawing. So this over here represents the architectural drawing of a three-story building. Before designing any structure, you have to first get the architectural drawing of that structure. If it is a simple structure, then a civil engineer himself or herself can prepare that drawing. But if it's any advanced structure, in that case, a professional architect needs to do the work. Uh, so here we got the architectural drawing and once you get the architectural drawing you have to study the drawing carefully in order to see how your structure actually is okay so here we got different floor plans as well as the elevations so we will look these floor plans one by one so if i zoom in into the floor plan so you can use the middle mouse button to zoom in and here it is the ground floor so you can see over here that so this is the entrance and you got the staircase void over here then you got the bedroom and the kitchen and dining so water closet that is just the bathroom and here is the living room and the bedroom so ground floor plan uh it's in the rectangular shape so it's very easy to model in e tabs similarly you got for the first floor plan okay so the ground floor plan and the first floor plan look pretty much similar and similarly you got the second floor plan and over here you got the roof roof or you can say the terrace right so here you can see these dotted lines so uh, if you see the elevation uh, that is the south elevation then you can see that uh, there is a sloped roof over here so this uh, dotted uh, you know structure over here represents this sloped roof right so this is the south elevation this is the west elevation and this is the north and this is the east elevation i'll attach this drawing here so you download it and study this drawing carefully to get idea of what you actually want to model okay so this over here is the section xx so uh, it shows the staircase so section xx is generally at the staircase right okay this is how you get the idea of your architectural drawing this is very simple architecture so here you can see that a ground floor plan and the first floor plan are pretty much similar uh, except that you got a balcony over here okay so uh, in this situation there is nothing much to do but uh, if somehow uh, your first floor plan is different than the ground floor plan you know there might be addition of any grid or subtraction of any grid in that situation what you do is you always start with the ground floor plan that means you define the grids taking into consideration the ground floor plan and you either add or subtract the grids for other floors okay so if you need to add any item you just define a new grid if there are any structures in the first floor or the other floors that need new grid lines in that case you define the grid lines there only so don't define the grid lines for each and every structure in the beginning okay the grid lines will confuse you so just start from the ground floor plan and keep on adding the grid lines if and when you need uh, so having this in mind so let us go to etabs and define our model so we'll go to etabs 